Hey everybody, it's Deacon Bree coming at you in one of my absolute most favorite Camp Hope t-shirts that we've ever made. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment this morning to talk to you a little bit about just that. I wanted to talk to you about Camp Hope this summer. So Camp Hope is moving online, which you guys may have heard about or maybe you didn't hear about. Um, but I'm here to tell you right now, it's going to be online. We see, we're seeing rising cases here in Texas for COVID. And so we want to still be able to bring you guys a fun week of day camp um, or two weeks of day camp, but maintain safety for both our staff and your children. So we're um, also so committed, though, to making sure that our wonderful excellent, well-trained teenagers have the opportunity to do what they do best, which is to lead in this congregation in our day camp. So our camp staff was hired all the way back in um, March, and we are uh, working to train them actually this upcoming weekend, and we think that we've actually found a format that's going to let our young people lead, your children participate, and um, have a really great summer and still be adult mentored, which is one of our core values of Camp Hope. So a couple other things that we wanted to make sure to stay true to the core is actually um, interaction. And we know that after coming off of a second semester of online school, that that is a big concern that you guys have as parents, that your kids are just not really connecting with the Zoom format or with the Google Hangout format. And, or FaceTime. And as someone who's tried to FaceTime my nieces and nephews when they're seven years old, I can tell you they're usually more interested in their own face than anything I might be asking or saying. But we have learned from some people who have been doing this um, for a long time, and we actually think we found out a really good format that will um, keep your kids engaged, um, help them still learn the Bible stories, still do snacks, still do crafts, still do games and movement, and not get bored or hate the, the Zoom interaction. That's a big part of one of our goals was like, how can we make sure that kids are still gonna be having a great time at camp? So one of the ways that we've done this is with our day flow. So each, uh, the day is broken down into two halves, a morning session and an afternoon session, both of which have breaks. So, um, and during those breaks, there are uh, challenges that your kids can still be working through the Bible study, hopefully uh, be leaving you alone, and um, still be engaged with the camp, but not on a screen all day. So the morning session for younger campers looks like 45 minutes, followed by about an hour break. And the morning session for older campers looks like an hour, followed by a 45 minute break. Um, it's gonna, each break has, like I said, a challenge. It might be a drawing, it might be a scavenger hunt, it might be to make something in Minecraft or out of Legos. Um, there's a lot of options and we built in a ton of flexibility because one of the other things we wanted to make sure to be sensitive about is to know that you might be traveling, you might not have access to all of the same supplies because of uh, supply limitedness uh, through the supply chain and that everything could be done in multiple ways through whatever you've got around the house. So we've already gone through and kind of scrubbed through the curriculum and made sure that all the activities are available to whatever you've already got laying around or with just a couple tweaks like ordering another pack of crayons or, you know, uh, if you're a paint household, getting some new set of paints. Um, but if not, then our uh, staff members have also been trained on how to make sure that your kids can still engage with whatever the curriculum is saying, with whatever materials you guys already have around the house or when you guys are traveling. We also have added an extra element where some of our uh, activities that might need more parental or adult supervision, like an extra snack is kind of cool, it's got baking involved or a science experiment that um, is a lot of fun to do, but might involve baking soda. So these are actually extra downloadable videos that you can do on your own time at any time with your kids. We're really excited about this option because as you guys might know from me as Deacon Bree, I'm always looking for ways to help you connect with your own kids at home. And so these will be like YouTube videos that our camp directors have put together to walk you through step-by-step -step each project so that you can actually do them as a family. 
One of the things that this format actually opens up for the first time is that you don't have to be in Austin to participate in Camp Hope. And because the schedule is broken down into these segments, you may not even need to participate in the whole day because we're going to be having these extra downloadable videos. And so um, we know that you guys might be traveling. We know that you guys maybe want your kids and their cousins to come uh, who live in Minnesota to come to the same camp day. For the first time ever, this is a, this is a possibility. Um, we're really excited about this. Uh, it means that it's kind, Camp Hope has some, suddenly kind of become a la carte. Um, and that's really exciting for you guys as parents because it builds in so much more flexibility. You can really uh, jump in for anything at any time from anywhere, um, which is uh, really exciting. I know that a lot of you guys are still working <clears throat> throughout the week. And adding a day camp, especially, like I said, after coming off of that second semester of school is uh, probably a little anxiety inducing, and I totally understand that. But we think we've built up a formula that one, you won't need to be hovering over your child for this, um, for this camp to work. We think we've got a schedule that if there's something that you need to be involved in, we'll just text you. Um, and uh, we think that we've gotten a way that your kid can be seeing their peers and really truly engaging with them. Um, I don't know if your kids are anything like my nieces, um, which that they've sort of hit a wall. They're really missing their friends. And that's one of the things that we are primarily trying to bring you guys is uh, a way for your kids to engage with their friends in a super fun way. So I'm really hoping to see you guys all online in a few weeks or a good chunk of you. I do miss your faces um, and I hope that you're staying happy and healthy and uh, reach out to me if you have any questions and I look forward to answering and seeing any of those that roll in. Thank you so much. Bye guys.